Hey there. Well, I'm making this video to show you the latest updates on your Kelly 7230S controllers, a dual motor for your 011X. Well, at the moment, this is how it looks. It's almost fi almost finished. It's like 99%. I have to do just a few things. Um, I think one wire and the axles for, for the suspension. Other than this, all the electronics, they are ready and they are perfectly done. All right, let me show you just a little bit of what you are getting. I'm truly sorry that I don't have another motor. So we will use this motor for both controllers and we'll connect them separately to each one of them. But don't worry, they work. I've tested them. It's everything okay. I've done this system as modular as possible, as easy as well as possible for you to fit it. So you don't have any problems with the wiring. So you know where each plug goes where. Plus you have at the top here, every module as the brake that connects with plugs. You have the throttle connects, it's connecting with plug. You have the, the key, the ignition key as well that connects with plug and goes in here into a single plug. Uh, let me see, I put it with blue, which reminds me again, every single wire has a color on it, so you don't mix them. So as an example, the ignition, it's the blue one. So you just need to connect the ignition to the blue plug in here. When you take it out, for example, oh. yeah, so you see you have on the male plug, and then on the female as well. So you know blue goes with blue. Another thing added in here, you have the color code for each wire where it goes. So for example, the black is the negative, it's 72 volts on this one. The yellow one, it's the controllers, which they are, I believe, number seven, number seven on the controllers. So this is the, the wire that goes into both controllers and activates them. And then you have red, which is positive 72 volts. They are very easy to connect. Yeah, we just plug it in here like this. Oh, I can't really do it with one hand, but you will be, it will be very easy for you. So you can do it with two hands. Again, another connection. Let's take this one that goes up. Yeah, it's it's very hard for me to take it with one hand because you have to keep the other one. So this wire, it goes on your right side of the of your scooter, and it goes one into the brake and one into your throttle. Again, you have a color code on it, and you have red and yellow which they are the brake green black and uh, purple they are the throttle the same thing you have them in here you have the color codes oh, i'm just going to show you you have the colors that match the wires as well from from the controller too It will be very easy to connect it, so don't worry. You will be able to have this set properly. Oh, yeah. Once again, it's harder for me. The throttle, this one, the brake, the ignition key, they come onto your right side on the handlebars. I put this one in here just to show you. And then you have another cable that goes up for your left brake. And that's all that goes onto your handle, onto your handlebars. And of course the display with the command button where you turn it on and off. And where it will show you the speed, it will show you data about the back controller only, not the front one. So the back controller, 
is this one that goes at the bottom of your stem. This one will go on, on top of it. So this is your slave controller, is the front motor. This is your uh, main controller, the master controller that goes at the back motor. And they, you can see it like this. Yeah, so this one is at the top, this one is at the bottom. You have minimum connections. On, on the slave controllers, you have only two plugs. One of them is the wire that connects, connects the, the two controllers between them. Yeah, and the second wire is this one that is your brake sensor, which you can see there. All you have to do is to connect your uh, motor. Oop. The same thing, your plug, the motor plug, you have the phase wires, yeah, which they are yellow, blue, and green. And then in here, you have a GST with six, uh, six pins. And they are like this. The white one is the sensor. The red one, it's plus five volts. Then you have uh, the yellow, which is the, um, the sensor. And then green, blue, and black, which is negative five volts. So these three, yellow, uh, green, yeah, yellow, green, and blue, they are your whole sensors from the motor. And the white one, is your temperature sensor very easy to connect i'm testing now with a small battery so don't mind my connections in there they are very <laughs> i've done it very I've, I've tried to do it very fast so i can test this one quickly and i fitted this motor as you can see it with these wires and this is a 500 watts motor it's not very big yeah all right First thing you'll have to do is to, after you connect your motors, after you connect the controllers to your, um, to your battery, start the ignition. And they will start like this. Yeah, you have a nice set of LEDs on both controllers and they are very nice. Oh yeah, let me not forget that this is the plug that goes to your back brake. So I need to make another wire to back brake that goes to your lights for the uh, for the brake at the back of your scooter. I have connected this just temporary so I can show you that it works. And whenever you press your brake, oh, let me see, like this. Not only that the LEDs from your controllers, they change, but it turns on the back uh, brake light as well so when all the time you'll press the brake your leds on your controllers they will do like this basically like hazard lights when you stop they'll come back and they will be blue they are flashing right now just a little bit because there is just a small battery it's a 40 volts battery so the controllers the step down convent converter Converter inside the controllers is not uh, getting enough power. Okay, uh, turning on. So when you turn on the switch, that doesn't mean you'll turn on your display as well. So what you'll have to do in order to turn on your display, you'll have to press the power button in here and your display will come on too. Just like that. I haven't done yet the, um, um, the parameters on the controllers. I'll do that as well. And the only thing you'll have to do, again, when you receive your controllers and after you feed them on your scooter, you will have to do the identification angle. And for that, you will need to connect to your controllers via Bluetooth. Both of the controllers, they have Bluetooth front and back as well so you can connect all the time to uh at your controllers even when you are outside and you don't need to disconnect the um, the display so you can connect the bluetooth module it's already connected but the only thing you'll have to do you can't connect to the bluetooth module when your display is on so you'll have to turn off your display only now you can connect to the master controller which is at the back and i'll show you how you do this as well so,
I have already. So the first thing to do, you will have to go to at your Bluetooth on your phone. You will need an Android phone. Yes. And for this, um, you will need to add the Bluetooth module to your pair of devices. I already added um, the master controller, which ends in 901. And as you see here, this is the secondary controller that I haven't added yet, but I will add it now. We just press on it to pair. You put your password one, two, three, four, and then you press pair. Yeah. Now, once it's paired, you have both of the uh, Bluetooth modules in here. Again, 901 is for your back motor, 103 is for your front motor. Now that you've done this, you go into your app, which is AC Adducer. One second. I have it here. And you connect very easy to it like this. So the first thing you press yes, motors, they are stopped, Bluetooth that open, and then you press open and you select which one you want to connect 901 is the back motor the master controller 103 is the front uh, motor we will connect now to the back motor because we have uh, the the motor on it so we'll connect to the front uh front huh, sorry we'll connect to the master controller because we already have the motor fitted on it and i want to show you a few things Okay, now it shows connected. You'll have to press R, which means read. And this one here, the, it will show you all the parameters of the controller. Again, I haven't done the parameters yet, but what you will need to do, you will need to go here where it says identify angle and change this number to 170, then press right. After you press right, you read it again you press r to read the parameters again if they change to to 170 you will turn off your scooter from this key from the ignition you will wait around five seconds and after five seconds you will turn it back on and you will see that your motors they will start spinning but just like very very little you will see just like some pulse i'm yep, sorry i had to stop the video for a second there okay so after you change the parameters and you put 170 here. Oop. Yeah, after you put 170 there, again, you turn off the ignition, you wait around three to five seconds, and then you turn it back on. At that time, when you turn it back on, the controller will start to do the ident identification angle, which will take around three to five minutes. So leave the scooter, don't touch it, don't press the brake, don't press anything, just let it be. If you see after the identification angle has been done, the controller will start flashing both uh, lights in here, they will start flashing and turn off the key, leave it again three to five seconds, turn it back on again. If you will see, you can at that time you can press the throttle, but again, do, do it for both of them. So don't do one of them and then press the throttle. Do it for both of them, the identification angle. You can do both of them in the same time if you have two phones, or otherwise you can do it separate one by one. After you have done the identification angle on both of, of your controllers, press your throttle slowly. You see, now I'm pressing it slowly. I'm not going to do the ident identification angle now. I'll let you do it after. But press the throttle something like this so it doesn't go. And have a look at the direction um, of your motor. If the direction is not correct, go back into your app. And then on the first page, go into change direction. Press this one. And then press right, W. Again, press read and see if, I don't know, in your case might be selected or deselected, this, this one here. See if it has done it. Then turn off your key, 
the ignition, wait three, five seconds, then turn it back on and press the throttle again. And then you will see that, that the direction of your motor, the spinning direction, it has changed. Okay, another thing about your, um, the app, you can go, let's see. So you have two options here. It's AC calibration and then it's AC monitor. When you press on AC monitor, it shows you data about your controller to whatever each one you con you co connected because you have set it up a temperature sensor on your uh, motor it will show you the temperature of your motor it will show you the controller temperature it will show you the voltage of your battery and then it will show you as well the hall sensor um, lines if they work and which direction they they do if i spin the motor like this you will see that those numbers are changing yeah again uh tps pedal this is the uh your throttle and you will show it will show you here how hard you press your throttle if you see if i'm pressing a little bit it will change yeah the number will increase again another thing when i'm pressing the 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 brake you will see here at the brake switch the number is changing to one which means the brake has been activated you will be able to have uh, doing this because you have the brakes and you have the switch you will have regen which means um, when you're braking, uh, the controller will recharge your battery. They will send power back to your um, to your battery. The state of the of your controller, it says it's. You can notice it by this light. You have two lights. One of them is red. One of them is green. If it's a solid green, it means the controller is working perfectly and it's in normal parameters. If you see it starts flashing like this, or there are different uh, flash types, it means there, there is an error. So right now this flash, it's for the whole sensor so from the motor. So it's flashing like this because it recognizes that there is no whole sensors on the motor. No whole sensor, they are not connected. So the whole sensors, they are not, not connected. Okay. I will just uh, connect now the the motor to the other controller so you can see it. See Daisy. Again, it's all plug and play. You have the connection in here. And then you have all all the uh, phase lines. Connect the phase lines in the same uh, order, same color that you can find in here. So like green, I have green in here. Oh. Yeah. It's very hard for me to do it with one hand, but I'm trying. So have a little bit of patience with me. They are not even the right plugs. They are some plugs that I just fit them in here and they will stay in here easily. Yeah, as you see now, the controller is not anymore in an error state. So it's in within parameters. And now the other controller is it's in error state, which uh, senses that whole sensor is not there. And it will show you on the app as well. Oh, let me see. Yeah, you can see it. Whole sensor error. Now, when you press the throttle, you will see that the motor starts spinning again. Which means it works. I'm not going to press the throttle to maximum. Again, I haven't done the parameters and neither the 
uh, identification angle. I'm not going to do the identification angle on this motor because then it will be a little bit harder for you to, to set it up. So the only thing you will have to do is do the identification angle before you press your throttle to the maximum and uh, try to ride it. Yeah, this is basically all. You have everything modular. You have a plug in here that connects your left brake. You have a plug in here that connects your uh, right brake. A plug in here that connects your throttle. And you will have another type of throttle. You'll have a finger throttle and a push throttle. So you can change them very easily. This is your ignition. It will show you the voltage of your battery. Again, to my opinion, everything looks very easy. And... I will make as well for you some uh, some pictures and where I will show you what each plug means and which wires they are connected to 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 that one. Yep. So this is how it is. I'm just trying to see if it shows you an error because right now the whole sensors they are not connected and. No, it's not going to show you an error in here, but watch your controllers, the light on your controllers. That's basically, that tells you everything. I'll give you the full list as well. Oh. Yeah, so basically this is your setup for 011X. Again, everything is modular, easy to fit and I've done it the best that I could. They took me a long, long time, and I'm sure you know this already. But I hope you'll enjoy them and you'll have a lot of fun with it. All right, till next time, take care. And well, I can't wait to send this to you, and I can't wait for you to feed them on and test them on the road. You will have one of the most powerful controllers on the market. And I promise you, you won't be disappointed. I haven't been disappointed. But here is something unique. Enjoy it and have fun. All right, till next time. Alex here from Itoros LTD. I wish you the best of luck.